going on guys another episode of Dom Trump fishing and today I am going fishing once again like you guys can tell by the title what am I going fishing and you might ask well if you're used to the channel you'll know but this guy this is the original tin pounder original not no copycat like that Andrew Flair crap boat that he's got this is the original one so a little bit of backstory on the lake that I'm going to today springtime as many of you know is a great time to catch some biggins and last year I went to this lake in the summertime and caught some big ones, actually two four pounders, which in Minnesota is a really good size, especially if you can catch two of them in the same day, which I did. So this lake has big fish, we know now. Yesterday I went out fishing and I didn't catch many big fish, so today I'm on a big fish mission. So that's what you guys can stay tuned for today. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to consider subscribing because there's gonna be plenty more big fish missions just like this one in the year. So there's that and also hit the like button to hopefully help me catch you know some more fish. And lastly, Go down in the comments and guess my total weight for today that you think that I'll catch throughout today. If you want, you can watch the whole video and then, you know, add up as the video goes on, but whatever you want to do, but, and then go down in the comments and comment whatever your guess is for my total weight for five best fish in pounds and whatever. And like I said, closest to that, we'll get a shout out in the next video. I don't know if I even said that, but yeah, that'll be the shout out in the next video or whenever my next video after this video is published comes out. So without further ado, I'm gonna get the boat ready to go. We're gonna get down the road. I'm gonna get to the lake. That was really bright. And I'll see you guys there. Peace. So we got the boat into the water now. And let me tell you guys, it is such a beautiful day out here. It's perfect. I'm almost happy that I uh, decided to not go to school today and instead of work, so that way I had time after work in order to go fishing because it's so nice and it's a little windy but not like super bad like it has been the past couple of days so we're gonna go out and try to catch them the water temperature if my depth finders are reading right which I kind of feel like they are is extremely high compared to all the other lakes I've been to which is a pretty good thing I might be flipping into this stuff just because it's so thick Water temperature here is like 57, 58 degrees. And just to put into perspective, the past two days I've fished and both lakes are only 54. So this lake is much higher water temperature. So hopefully that means that the big girls have moved up into this lake already. There's one, just a little guy. Nothing monstrous, but hey, the start to the day, I'm not even gonna weigh this one just because of how small it is. Boom. All right, we're gonna zip on over to another spot on this lake. I know that most likely, oh boy, wow. That most likely has a bunch of fish at it just because it's like a little bay kind of deal. There's something. Looks like a bass. Oh yeah. There's a northern. Look at all the minnows, holy crap. And I got a fish on. There's another bass down there. Boom, I think I found something here. This one has a huge mouth for the size of its body. Holy crap. Look at that yapper on him. Jeez. Well, I'll take that. This guy is 171. Is it good for fish number one? Make my way out of here because I don't think there's gonna be much for fish. There we go.
There's one. Just another little guy, but hey, he's not getting weighed. I was gonna weigh him, but not anymore. He was tucked up right next to all these weeds. Oh, there's a bass right there. Got him. Boom! My phone's ringing, but I don't care. That was a sweet fish catch there. I saw him swimming out. This is a really nice one too. Ah, I hooked in the shorts. He didn't lose any of his fight when I fought him. Look at that guy. Pretty decent one. I'll get to my phone in a second. I got fish to tend to. Wow, biggest of the year, 284. Bam, look at that guy. Just a stud. Just clamp it down on my fingers. Bang! Holy crap, guys. I don't know if you can see this. There's a giant snapping turtle right there. I really hope you guys can see this here. Maybe you guys can see it better. Right there is just a giant, giant snapping turtle. Holy crap. Don't want to hook into that guy. It's huge. The head on that thing is massive. Well, we're just going to keep on fishing. But one thing they do say is, when springtime fishing, you want to go where the turtles are. And obviously, the turtles are right here. So. I uh, should be in the money. There's one. I was just swimming it out and he came after it. Let's go. That one, guess where he was? Yeah, that's right, up underneath that stuff. I'm actually gonna weigh this one because I haven't weighed any of these smaller ones and if I keep catching them this size and don't weigh them, that's not gonna be good. Oh, I hate when they clamp down on your finger. Well, he's 145, so not too bad, pound and a half. But I definitely want to get a bigger one than that today. Oh, what a backlash. Holy crap. That's why you don't try skipping under docks like that. There's bound to be a fish or two in here. There is some bass up in here. There, I haven't seen any like with any kind of size to them, but there's fish up in here. I wish I had an anchor. Hey, there's another snapping turtle. Holy crap. Never seen two in one day before. There's one. This one's actually pretty decent too. He feels decent, at least with the current. Boom! Another one in the boot. This one's been caught before. Let's uh, throw a quick weight on this guy. He's not like amazing, but one, four, three. So about the same size as that last one. Boom. There's one. This one feels better too. That or else just the current makes them feel better. Get in the boat. Nah, he's not better, but I'll weigh him anyways because I need fish number five on the day. 143. That's good for fish number five. Boom. Might need to use the big motor to get out. Holy cow. many of those opportunities. There's one. Just a little guy. Boom. Another one in the boat. There's one. Freaking monster. That is a world class bass in the making.
there's one. Right next to this goose that's nesting, I catch a bass. I might as well weigh this one, because you never know. No, he doesn't upgrade any of my bass, so it's a farewell to this guy. Boom. There's one. This one might be a little bit better. Maybe. No, I don't think so. I'm not even gonna weigh this one. It's like a twin to that other one. But hey, another fish in the boat. I just need to find like a two pounder. There's one. Not a very big one again, but a fish nonetheless. There's one. Nice. There's one. Just a little guy again. But it is a fish of the right species even. guys so I'm off the water now you know the old 10 pounder worked just fine today as I was out fishing now about the beginning when I said that if you guessed their weight correctly you get a shout out the weight that I ended up with today was exactly 8 pounds and 88 ounce, well 8.88 .8, which I don't know how much that is in ounces and whatnot but if anybody comments in ounces I'll do the conversion so if you were within a pound I'll say so if you were like pretty much 10 pounds to 7 pounds Wait, no, it'd be 10 pounds to like just under 8 pounds. If you're anywhere in that range, I will be counting you as a shout out recipient. If you didn't comment anything, you done mi did missed out. I want to say thank you guys again for watching today's video because without you guys, or hold up, without you guys, I don't know, I probably wouldn't still be doing it. So, again, thank you. And if you have not already subscribed, you might want to consider doing so because. As I said in last video, this whole Domstrom fishing fam, we're fixing to take over YouTube. And the best time to join a bandwagon is before it becomes a bandwagon. So that way you don't get labeled as a bandwagon, like bandwagoner. But that's about it for today's video. If you guys have any suggestions of what I could have done differently out on the water today, leave those down in the comments. I read every single one of them. But without further ado, let's get this video signed off. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.